The plantar reflex is a reflex elicited when the sole of the foot is stimulated with a blunt instrument. The reflex can take one of two forms. In normal adults the plantar reflex causes a downward response of the hallux. An upward response of the hallux is known as Koch sign, Babinski response or Babinski sign, named after the neurologist Joseph Babinski. The presence of the Babinski sign can identify disease of the spinal cord and brain in adults, and also exists as a primitive reflex in infants. Methods The lateral side of the sole of the foot is rubbed with a blunt instrument or device so as not to cause pain, discomfort, or injury to the skin. The instrument is run from the heel along a curve to the toes. Many reflex hammers taper at the end of the handle to a point which was used for testing the plantar response in the past. However, due to the tightening of infection control regulation this is no longer recommended. Either a single-use orange stick or the thumbnail should be used. There are three responses possible, flux of the toes curve down and inwards, and the foot averts. This is the response seen in healthy adults. Indifferent, there is no response. Extensor, the hallux dorsiflexes, flexes, and the other toes fan out. This is Babinski's sign which indicates damage to the central nervous system. As the lesion responsible for the sign expands, so does the area from which the afferent Babinski response may be elicited. The Babinski response is also normal while asleep and after a long period of walking. Interpretation The Babinski sign can indicate upper motor neuron lesion constituting damage to the corticospinal tract. Occasionally, a pathological plantar reflex is the first and only indication of a serious disease process and a clearly abnormal plantar reflex often prompts detailed neurological investigations, including CT scanning of the brain or MRI of the spine, as well as lumbar puncture for the study of cerebrospinal fluid. The phrase negative Babinski sign is sometimes used for the normal flux of plantar response. In infants, infants will also show an extensor response. A baby's smaller toes will fan out and their big toe will dorsiflex slowly. This happens because the corticospinal pathways that run from the brain down the spinal cord are not fully myelinated at this age, so the reflex is not inhibited by the cerebral cortex. The extensor response disappears and gives way to the flexor response around 12 to 24 months of age. Pathways, afferent nociception detected in the S1 dermatoman travels up the tibial nerve to the sciatic nerve to roots of L5, S1 and synapse in the anterior horn to elicit the motor response. Efferent, motor response back through the L5, S1 roots to the sciatic nerve to its bifurcation. Toe fluxes are innervated by the tibial nerve. Toe extensors are innervated by the deep peroneal nerve. Loss of normal adult descending pyramidal control of the reflex arc to suppress extensor withdrawal results in the youth going toes in the plantar reflex known as Babinski's sign. Relationship to Hoffman reflex The Hoffman's reflex is sometimes described as the upper limb equivalent of the Babinski sign because both indicate upper motor neuron dysfunction. Mechanistically, they differ significantly. The finger flexor reflex is a simple monosynaptic spinal reflex involving the flexor digitorum profundus that is normally fully inhibited by upper motor neurons. The pathway producing the plantar response is more complicated, and is not monosynaptic. This difference has led some neurologists to reject strongly any analogies between the finger flexor reflex and the plantar response. Babinski-like responses, the plantar reflex can be elicited in a number of ways which were described in the late 19th and early 20th century. These have their own eponyms. Bing sign a euro multiple pin pricks on the dasum of the foot, Cornell sign a euro scratching along the inner side of the extensor halachis longus tendon, Chaddock sign a euro stroking the lateral malleolus, Gonda sign a euro flexing and suddenly releasing the fourth toe, Gordon sign a euro squeezing the calf muscle, Mollis sign a euro forceful passive plantar flexion of the ankle, Oppenheim sign a euro applying pressure to the medial side of the tibia, Schaefer sign a euro squeezing the Achilles tendon, Silver sign a euro pinching the rectus femoris muscle, Stransky sign a euro vigorously. Abducting and suddenly releasing the little toe, Stroll one court and Pell sign a euro patient attempts to flex the knee against resistance, 
trigematin reflex a euro percussion over the metatarsophalangeal joint of the big toe, abnormal reflex seen as flexion of toes, beakter at mendel reflex a euro flexion of the second to fifth toes on percussion of the dasum of the foot, rosalimo sign a euro exaggerated flexion of the toes induced by rapid percussion on the tips of the toes, references.